girl my age in seventh grade with long blonde hair. She used to call me Freak McGee. Whenever she saw me, she'd laugh and say, Eek, the Freak! I don't like being laughed at, Mr. Tanner. Who does? See you tomorrow, Scott. Yes, sir. Right. But what would be closest in today's turn? How about the Municipal Opera? How about the Muni Opera, she says. Okay, Vicky, how is the Muni Opera like the theater of Shakespeare's day? Well, this theater was out of doors. Right. There's also a similarity in the nature of the entertainment being presented at the Municipal Opera. What's that mean? The Muni does musicals. Scott, you want to explain? There are many parallels between musical comedies and the plays of Shakespeare. As a matter of fact, only one of Shakespeare's plays doesn't have a song in it. Yeah, let's all sing some of the hits from Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing is also that Shakespeare wrote the music for West Side Story. Hey, wait a minute. He happens to know what he's talking about. Oh, well, he always knows what he's talking about and what everybody else is talking about. Mr. Tanner. Hey, ease off, everybody. I have a question. Oh, that's a switch. Questions are in order. Why should I be criticized for adding to the class discussion by someone who isn't even prepared to discuss anything? Ah, oh, meaning me. Adding the discussion's one thing. Taking it over is something else. But I don't see Scott, the we'll point. talk about it later. Come on, let's get back to Shakespeare. Yes, sir. Does the boy create problems? His presence in the 11th grade creates the problem. I hope you're not going to be like his other teachers. What other teachers? The ones who were relieved when he was moved up and out of their classes. Of course, he's far beyond his age group, but he's not at the college level at anything except math. He's bright 11th grade, that's why he was put there. He is super bright 11th grade. I know it's a problem. That's why I'm asking all of his teachers to handle him very carefully. You think he's that fragile? The operative word is special. He's a special child. Margaret, that's the problem. They're all special, every one of them. But Scott could be a national asset. A space-age Einstein who might very well chart our way to the stars. The university is very excited about him. Trying to arrange for him to have a couple of hours a week with a math professor. Lucas, be, be careful. Be careful. Now, if I only knew what that meant. 